channel. If you're new here, welcome. So today I thought it'd be fun to jump on the bandwagon of the inverted makeup trend. I was inspired by these two accounts right here and I will have the links for them down below so you guys can check them out and support them because they're amazingly talented artists and definitely deserve some recognition. It kind of looks a little freaky, not gonna lie. I would definitely not want to look like this throughout my everyday life. And this is how it actually turns out if you invert the inverse, which is still not it, Chief, but it's close enough, I guess. So anyways, if you guys are interested in seeing how you can turn yourself into a little inverted demon baby like myself, then just keep watching. Hey guys, so to get started, I'm going to be taking my Marilyn Paradise paint in light blue and using this to apply where I would normally contour. So this is going to be right under my cheekbones, my temples, and surrounding my forehead, and even bringing that down to my jaw as well. While we're at it, go ahead and blend it down your neck and also apply it to the surrounding area of your nose. Next, I'm going to be taking my Marilyn Paradise paint in teal and applying this right over top of my light blue body paint. This is going to help add a lot more dimension and not make the colors look so flat. Next, I'm going to be taking my Marilyn Paradise paint in black and deep sea, mixing them together to apply to the areas that we would normally highlight. As you can see with inverted makeup, you kind of just switch up your routine. So everywhere that you would normally highlight, you apply the darkest color, and the places that you would normally have a shadow or contour, you're going to be having the lightest color. Something I highly recommend is to always have reference photos, and in this case, because you are working on your own face, I recommend taking a photo that you already have of yourself and inverting that image and using that as a reference photo. These are the images that I used as a reference for myself. As you can see, I wanted to take a little bit more of an artistic route with mine, so I wanted to take the green colors and kind of make them look a little bit more light blue and teal to help brighten it up a bit. Going back into my light blue body paint, I'm going to be using this to apply to the chin and surrounding area before moving on and going back into my deep sea body paint and applying this to the surrounding areas of my chin. This is definitely where I started to darken in areas that I wasn't supposed to, so I went over with my body paints a few more times, and that's a great thing about this look is feel free to layer it up. This actually helps make it look more realistic because these shouldn't have too many harsh lines. Everything should kind of start to seamlessly blend into one another. For my neck, I'm just kind of doing the same thing like I did with my face, and I'm darkening the areas that would normally be highlighted, so these are going to be the muscles on my neck, and I'm going to be lightening the areas that would probably have a little bit more contour to them. And once again, you want to add more definition by adding the teal body paint in there as well. Next, I'm going back into my Marilyn Paradise paint in deep sea and black, and I'm going to be matching my right eye by filling in the under eye area of my left eye, and I'm even going to be applying a little bit of this around the nose area and kind of bringing it up a little bit around the jaw, and I'm even going to be applying this right under my nose and blending into my cupid's bow. Like I said before, take advantage of layers in this makeup look. I like to darken a few areas, and if it happens to be too dark, I like to go back in and lighten it up and blend it out. Moving on to my Marilyn Paradise paint in teal again, I'm going to be using this to fill in my lips. In almost all of my reference photos, my lips are almost completely green, so I definitely wanted to incorporate that into this look as well. I'm going to lightly darken the tip of my cupid's bow before going into my Marilyn Paradise paint in white and completely outlining my lips. The reason we darkened it first was to serve as the highlight that happens right above your cupid's bow before we're applying essentially what the lip liner is with the white body paint. I'm then going to be going back into my dark colors and using this I'm going to be applying it to the center of my forehead where we would normally highlight with concealer. Once again you want to make sure to blend this out as you go so you don't have any harsh lines. I'm even going to be bringing that color down the bridge of my nose to help separate it. This is going to serve as the highlight color for our nose. And even for this, I'm actually going to be going back into my teal body paint a little bit and applying this to the outer edges of my nose as well to help blend in to the darkness. The thing about this is we're basically reverse contouring our nose and contouring can be a little bit difficult to begin with. So this is definitely very interesting. 
I'm then going to be applying a little bit of highlight right above my brows with my black body paint before going back into my light blue and I'm going to be using this as the crease color for my eyeshadow essentially. Something I highly recommend is actually getting a pencil brush and using this to blend out your body paint. Going back into the teal body paint, I'm actually going to be using this right above and this is going to be blending up into my brows and this is also going to be on my lash line as well. Once again, make sure to blend these together as you go so you don't have any harsh lines. Next, I'm going to be taking my white body paint and I'm actually going to go ahead and fill in my eyebrows like I normally would, except instead of using normal brow products, I'm just going to be using white body paint. Once that is completed, you want to take your black body paint and highlight your brow bone by applying this right underneath of your nice, beautiful white brows. Next, I'm going to be going into my Morphe James Charles eyeshadow palette, taking this white eyeshadow and applying this right into the crease before taking this teal eyeshadow and applying this where I applied the teal body paint from earlier. And since this wasn't really cutting it for me, I decided to go into my black eyeshadow and do a cut crease to help with that. So I'm just going to be really building that up and packing that on on the inner corner of the eye and letting it blend out towards the middle of the eye. And I'm going to be doing the same thing on my other eye as well. I highly recommend taking a clean brush and blending that out in the very center of the lid just to kind of help blend it into the body paint. Following that, I'm going to be mixing my blue eyeshadow with the teal eyeshadow and really packing that on to the very center of the lid to help blend in with the black before finally going into the white eyeshadow to serve as the outer corner eyeshadow color. And we're even going to be going into our black eyeshadow and applying this to all of the areas that we have black body paint. So this is going to be the brow bone, under the eyes, the forehead, the bridge of the nose, the whole shebang. Next, I'm going to be going back into my Marion Paradise Paint and White, and using this, I'm going to be creating a nice winged eye. Typically, I always have winged eyeliner on, so I felt that was only necessary for this look to include one as well, and it actually looks really cool whenever the inverse is inverted because it definitely looks like a normal winged eye. Once that is done, I'm going to be using the white body paint as some white mascara as well. If you have white mascara, feel free to use that. I did not, so I just used this. And then I'm going to be going into my Ardell Wispies and just applying this to my lash line. And as you can see, I had already applied a nice thick layer of white body paint onto these as well. Next, go ahead and pop in your contact lenses and then we're going to be filling in the lower waterline since now we don't have any more tears left to cry. So I'm going to be taking some white body paint and applying that to the lower waterline to serve as some eyeshadow, and even applying a little bit of that onto the lower lashes as well. And that is the completed look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a comment down below if you'd like to see next. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my videos. And with all that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!